Hello guys and welcome back to Souls Up 2. It is Thursday, October 5th, 2023. My god. That? That was a insane operation. Operation Clones, as you can see, has come to a close. Because it is now October 5th. And the deadline to get all the clones out of here was October 5th. And thankfully, we officially put an end to it just the day beforehand. Now... With all of the clones gone, we should not be seeing any more sheep clones throughout the rest of this year, or just in general. If we do end up uh, approaching one again in the future, we'll just put a stop to it very quick. The point is, it's just crazy. Just think back for a second before we jump into anything else. Think back for a second. This all happened because we found a flower sheep clone on June 17th, 2022. The day we got, like, the day after we got the lab back from, of course, Evil Clock, Master Evil Longers, and Evil Sheep Leader. Just think, if we didn't find that flower sheep clone over a year back, we probably would have never had Operation Clones. And I'm gonna be completely honest, I think that's actually true. Cool Get 33, if you are watching this, please correct me if I'm saying any of that wrong. Because, dang. Well, at least now that that clone's out of here legitimately, we shouldn't be seeing any more clones. Next up, as always, the Halloween party. October 19th to November 2nd. I already previously explained this when Operation Clones originally went live. But, now that it's the proper month, I should obviously re-announce it again. Now then, you're probably noticing I have something else in my inventory outside of my crossbow. We still have the UFO power source and the decolor source to still bring back to Evil Sheet Leader's base. So, without further ado, let's make our way down there. Alright, we are here at Evil Sheet Leader and Polar Bear Leader's base. Anyway, let's go in. Uh, hold on, let me just get rid of that for a second. What we need to do is, uh, wait, where is Evil Sheet Leader in all of this? Oh, there's Polar Bear Leader. Where is Evil Sheet Leader in all of this? Uh, oh, there he is! He's just hiding in the background. Hello, Evil Sheet Leader! Good news! We got your power sources back! Thank you, Lego and CoolGet33 Sheet, for getting my power sources back from Master Evil Anchor. He shouldn't be around for the rest of 2023, so that's good. To prevent him from stealing my machines, I will bury them for a while after you put those back. Good! Please! Please bury them! We do not want this again! Of course, in order for him to actually do that, we need to, of course, go put these back in their respective machines. So, let's go ahead and do that. I brought him along. Because, hey, he helped me during this entire thing, at least outside of, like, two or three missions. Regardless, he's here. And yeah, I can clearly see what he means here. So, the machines have officially been unmerged, and are now back to their respective machines. So, let's break this open. And let's put back the UFO power source and officially close that off entirely. Lastly, we have the decolor source, which we just need to bust open this and put it back, respectively, and seal it off entirely. All right, Evil Sheet Leader, go ahead and bury them. All right, with that storyline officially wrapped up, we're done. HQ Secretary, uh, you mind moving out of the way for a second, bud? Need you to... Move there, bud. I need to see something. That's right. The attack board says, see you in 2024. Because that's it. That was all the mission-based events in 2023 for Souls Lab 2. And the same thing also applies for Souls Lab 3. There are no more mission-based events across both labs for the rest of the year. So now, the next mission-based event will occur sometime in 2024. <laughs> Lastly, but not least, to wrap up the video, we have the October 2023 catalog. Alright. So, let's read it, and of course, it should be pretty obvious what the theme is. Golden Catalog, October 2023. Halloween theme, of course. So... We have the Piglin costume, the Evoker costume, the Husk costume, the Stray costume, the Pumpkin head, the Soul Lantern, the Trick or Treat basket, and the Halloween 2023 background. You know what's ironic about most of those costumes? They will actually be featured legitimately as costumes in the Halloween party as well. So they'll be featured in both this catalog and the Halloween party. You could choose either one. 
But for the first 14 days that that will be out, well, they're only exclusive to the catalog. And then when the Halloween party comes out, they're exclusive to that event as well, alongside the catalog for the whole entire rest of the month. Speaking of months, the next catalog will release on Thursday, November 2nd. So please do look out for that in around four weeks. With all that being said, that wraps up this episode of Zoe's Lab 2. Hope you enjoyed this episode and a nice little wrap up to the Operation Clones storyline and just all mission based events in 2023. For Zola's Lab 2 and 3 in general, it is it has been a wild year. And now, for the rest of the year, we can finally relax and just enjoy some really fun and peaceful and awesome events that are not mission-based events for the rest of the year. It's going to feel really good. And, um, yeah. Of course, the first one out of all of those on our agenda is, of course, the Halloween party. So do look out for that on Thursday, October 19th. That is in two episodes. The next episode is the construction on October 12th. I'll see you all in that next episode. Goodbye, guys.